everybody, my name is Bobby Eliev. For the past seven years, I've been working as a Linux system administrator. I also have some experience as a DevOps engineer, and I'm a big fan of Laravel. Today, I will show you how you can deploy Laravel on DigitalOcean with just one click. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the DigitalOcean marketplace where you can find a lot of one-click applications for droplets and Kubernetes clusters. There are images like WordPress, Docker images, LAMP stack, and also one of those images is a Laravel image that we've recently built. So to get started, I'll just click on the Create Droplet button. This will take me to the Laravel page where I can see some more information about the image. For example, this is an Ubuntu 2004. If I scroll down, I can see that it's, it runs Nginx together with MySQL 8. We also have PHP 7.4 and Servbot for our SSL certificate. There's also some information on how to get started. Then I will scroll up and then hit the Create Laravel Droplet button. This will take me to my control panel where I'll be able to do some of the initial droplet configuration. As you can see, the Laravel image is already selected. Then the next thing that you need to choose is the size of your droplet. I'll just go for this one. Then if I scroll down a little bit, I'll be able to choose the location of the data center where my droplet would be deployed. I would go for the one that's closest to me. Then I can select a VPC network. Another thing that you might want to do is enable monitoring and add an IPv6. Then I'll choose one of my SSH keys. If you don't have one, you would need to generate one and upload it. Here I would select my host name. I would just do deploy dash Laravel. That looks good. If I scroll down, the last thing that I need to select is whether or not I want to enable backups. As this is just a demo, I would disable the backups, but if you're doing this for a production or any kind of development environment, I would strongly recommend enabling the backups. Finally, just hit the Create button, and under a minute or so, your Laravel droplet would be up and running. In the meantime, I would go ahead and prepare my DNS so that my demo domain name points to the droplet's IP. To do that, I'll just click on the droplet and then copy the IP address. Then I will head to the networking tab. Then choose my domain name. I'll be using this bobbylev.ml domain name. Here, I would add an A record, which would be pointing to the new droplet's IP address. As you can see, I've just put an add here, which basically means the domain name itself. So bobbylev.ml would be directing to the new droplet's IP address. And maybe we would want to have our www version active as well. So rather than having an A record for that, I think it's better to have a C name. So I'll just click on the C name tab and then type www and direct that to the domain name itself. And with that, our DNS is all set up. So we are ready to go back to our project. And our droplet is almost up and running. If I click on the droplet, I can see that it's already green. This indicates that the droplet has been configured and we are ready to SSH to the droplet. I will copy my IP and head over to my terminal. I'm on a Mac, so I'll be using the built-in terminal. To SSH to the droplet, I'll just need to type SSH, then followed by the username, which is root, then add and followed by the IP address. Here, I'll just say yes, and then I'll quickly type my passphrase for my SSH key. Then there are a couple of minor things that we need to specify, like the domain name, for example. So I'll just put bobbylev.ml. Then, as you can see, this quickly generated our Laravel database details and also our Laravel app key. The next question that we need to answer is whether we would like to have an SSL certificate or not. I will go for yes. Then here I need to specify my email address so that in case my SSL certificate is expiring, I would get a notification. 
then I would agree to the terms and conditions and here I would just say yes. Then I need to choose the domain name, I would choose one and with that we are triggering the authorization process. So essentially what's happening is Let's Encrypt is trying to uh, verify our domain name and make sure that we actually control the domain name. As we can see the validation was successful and we got an SF certificate. The next thing that we need to choose is whether we would like to have an HTTP to HTTPS redirect. I will choose two so that our domain name always redirects to HTTPS. And with that Laravel has been successfully installed and if I copy the URL from here and then go back to my browser and visit that URL. Sure enough, I can see Laravel here uh, installed and secured with Let's Encrypt. If I again head back to the terminal and go to the power www.html folder and then list the contents, here we can see the Laravel files. So let's quickly make a change. If we go to the resources views and then using a text editor, open the welcome.blade.php file. Here, let's search for Laravel and let's change this main text here. Let's put digital ocean. If I save that and go back to my browser, hit refresh, sure enough, I can see digital ocean here. So this is pretty much it. This is how you can deploy Laravel application on a digital ocean droplet without having to do any actual server configuration. I hope you find this useful and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm on Twitter at BobbyLeaf underscore.